Well, we got three minutes for Gerald to get here. But I think he said he was in charge of coffee this morning. So we usually grant the guy in charge of coffee a five minute pardon. You know that, John? What? When someone's in charge of coffee, we grant them an extra five minute pardon. Oh, do you? Yeah. So since okay. Gerald said he's in charge of coffee this morning, we'll do that. I, I, I'm cool with that as long as I get coffee. <laughs> but I was in charge of donuts and luck. I Nobody mean, ever said donuts. You brought donuts up on your own. I said chicken fried steak with brown gravy. Right. I can't do that. Man. Well, that's just for Mike. Well, yeah, camera guys like that sort of stuff. But he knows when he runs with me, it's a pretty lean operation. Okay. Oh. Boy, I'd hate to leave Gerald. He's a good guy, but... Unless we go over there. <laughs> Could do that, but... My, my theory is if I say 5 o'clock and you show up at 5 o'clock, you're 10 minutes late. <laughs> That's why I got up so early. We're here. This is all public land out here, private over there. But someone beat us to the spot here. I don't know if they are up here on this side or if they're down in here. I don't want to mess them up because it's not a super wide piece. It's only a half mile wide. It gets a little wider as it goes out there. But And I don't know that John talked a lot about this, but his uh, time in Iraq, he's got some serious injuries and it's hard for him to get around. He's going to be getting new knees and when you get shot and blown up a couple times, hard on your mobility. So we're looking for spots that we know are... Uh, are good, good vantage points for him without destroying what's left of his knees. Nick, the two mule deer, I think wants a buck. Clear up on the bank. And those two white tails went up towards it that way too. The two bucks. What's that? Those two bucks. Yeah, they were headed that direction up yeah. to that gut. Okay. I think we could. I think we could get up on here and walk over there, possibly. Okay. Let's just see what they do. I want to see the kids get that buck. See, I don't suggest getting blown up and getting most of your knee torn out, yeah. or I'd be up the hill. But I mean, I've been hunting since I was 12, so I'd love to see the kids get a deer. Mike are down here overlooking uh, old oak brush flat and we're not seeing anything down here but uh, Randy and Gerald and his kids went up over this ridge so we're waiting to hear gunshots from them he's got the scope cover off he's getting up on the sticks yep he's aiming is he about to shoot something or what 
He was aiming up on the sticks. Is he not doing it anymore? I can't. He's got a piece of sagebrush in the way. They got through before we got there. Did they? Yeah, we thought they hadn't, but I saw their tracks when I got up there. Yeah. We saw nothing. We Three found a shed birds. antler. I was going to hang it in a tree, but I was having so much fun with these boys. I said, how can I repay you guys for all the fun of making me laugh all morning? And here it said, well, you could pay me with that antler. So, John. Yeah. You, you, you got to be the spectator this morning? Yeah. Well, now you're going to be the participant. Uh-oh. Yeah. Does that mean I got to shoot a deer? Oh. Well, well I got two hours. You said I'll tag you. out by, by noon. noon. Yeah, you got two hours. So, if we go down here where it touches the river. Yeah. We're going to set you up on a bluff. Yeah. And Gerald and I are going to go different directions and we're going to be your bush beater. Excellent. Yeah. Let's go get something, huh? Let's go do this. All right. Bite him? You didn't shoot? Mm-hmm. Well, you don't want to wake him up. See that little patch of timber right there? Mm -hmm. You didn't see the bottom one right there? Mm -hmm. Little four point? Mm -hmm. Okay, they didn't. <laughs> We're in over there, so I was telling your boys how I got thrown in jail in Mexico. <laughs> didn't did, I guys? Did it start with, now boys, don't do this. <laughs> I was, it's something like, I would not recommend this, but okay. here's what can happen. Very good. <laughs> okay. So they asked me if I'd rather hunt in Alaska. And the answer is yeah. 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 I'm trying to think what options we have. So I was looking. You can't really see it from right here, Randy. Well, you actually can if you look through my truck. Yeah. It's just, it's just a small deal, and I don't know how big of an opportunity it is, but right down here is a patch of red willows. Yeah. A hundred by 50 yards wide on this side of the river. And then the ravine goes right up from that, right up to the road. I think you could just drive right to the head of that ravine. I'd stop at the bottom and just push that out, take three minutes. Do it. It's something. I'm I'm in. I mean, that's... Too low. There's not a ton of bedding cover around here, so... That's There's not. I've, uh, I'm having some second thoughts about where to be today. We're spending... Remember, we find where they're not, and then mm -hmm. go where they are. So let's go push that spot, and then I think we're better off playing with these smaller pieces along the way. Yeah, I agree. Because they don't get any hunting pressure. I agree. I'm in. Let's do it. Okay. What a beautiful spot to sit and not see a deer. <laughs> I'm thinking of going up there yeah. and dropping down off that bench yeah. and pushing it this way. I think that's the fun thing. John's going to sit up here on this point. Gerald's going to drive me upriver about three quarter mile. I'm going to just beat the bush. All right, you'll give me a ride up there? I'll give you a ride. Let's All go right. do this.
some of these little <laughs> brushy creek bottoms, I mean, we've shot some really nice whitetails in those kind of places. Yeah. Because it, it turns into a little, almost like oak up there. Yeah. All, and all it takes is one little bend that you can't see that John can walk 100 yards around the corner and we push it out. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We got a plan. Let's go yeah, before we change our minds. Yeah, it's a buck. I think this is this small piece is a hard piece to hunt. I say for right now we go back to our original plan. Okay. Unless you guys want to hunt this piece. The only thing would be is if Gareth would happily shoot one of those does. Yeah. I mean we could go I mean where you stopped us, we were only a mile and a half from <laughs> where we were gonna turn up there. We could go up there and I could push all that myself. If that doesn't mess you up, and maybe we'll go in here tonight and try to shoot one of these. Because it's, it's too many moving parts to try to get John over there. And right, just, and try to make a big loop to yeah. push him through. I think they do go through here and just take the rest of the evening and sneak in here. They're going to be filtering through there naturally anyway. Mm -hmm. And there's a bunch of deer in there. Yeah. I think we'd be better off with how that one creek follows that road the park, let John walk out there and I make big loops and just push it down. Mm -hmm. Especially once the deer are going to be up and moving here in another two minutes. Yeah. Well, if <laughs> if this doesn't mess up the, the program, we'll go do mm -hmm. that. No. Because that's kind of like we've got game down here. Yeah. We've got kids with tags. You guys go do it. Well, we're mobile, so we'll go do that and Kay. you go shoot one of those ones. But we're gonna go shoot a great big one. You go clean up the gene pool. Yeah, yeah take me a management deer. Cold bug. You get cold bug. Get a cold bug there. Over the corn feeder. My fence. Get one of them year and a half old management deer. He ain't never gonna make anything out of himself. It's just a spike or fork. Yeah. Wants a spike, always a spike. It's true, if he walks past John, it ain't never gonna get <laughs> 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 yeah. That's very true. All right, we have time burning. We better go. Okay. okay. All right. Good luck, guys. All right. Ready to do this? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we split up from Randy and uh, John. We saw some does down in here in this river bottom property, and it's a pretty tough, cut up little piece. So John didn't think he could get in here, and we didn't think we could push it for him. So John and Randy went over another piece of ground. Randy's gonna to try to do some pushes. Gareth and I are gonna walk in here and try to get one of these white tails. Fun times, two hours of beautiful sunshine. That's going on in Southeast Montana. Fun times for sure. Let's go get one. Mm -hmm. See what we can do. If we could find a knob just right up here where we can glass into those basins, we'll check it out. Definitely. And if it doesn't work, like you said, we'll just cross it off our list. Right. What? I think you might have got it. My knees are shaking. Michael, there's a buck right there. I think John could shoot him. Get set up and do not lose sight of him. I'm gonna go get John. See how you look at it? Yes. Just get to see where the, there's the bigger knob and then the, the little bit. He's right down. He's in a little dip yeah. too from here. the 
is at 263, so you say if you're on a Michael. Okay. It's yours to take whenever you want, John. <laughs> what a shot! Did he drop? <laughs> really? Completely folded him. <laughs> Sweet. I'm a Montana hunter now. Oh man. Oh gosh. Wow. <laughs> Great shot. Can I give my buddy a plug for hand loading these? Yeah. My buddy Bobby Snover hand loaded this. What, what are they? 165, 165 grain Acubons. On your 30 out 30 out 6 hollow. Yeah. Wow. I'm glad to get my first deer now finally. <laughs> Good job. Dude, he's not all blown up. What's that? He's what? He's not all blown up. No. You throttle him. <sighs> oh, Here's my buck. Actually, this is my best buck to date. So cool. I can't tell you how happy I am that you let Dude, us I tag can't. along, John. I can't even begin to say how happy I am. Well, he's perfect. To me, he's perfect. When you when you tell me how many surgeries you have lined up after this hunt, <laughs> John's getting a new shoulder, a new knee. Some new knee. You get a lot. <laughs> and for you to shoot a public land buck the first day. Well, the first full day. First full day. It took, yeah. it took us longer than noon. Sorry about that. That's okay, I'll, uh, I'll forgive you. <laughs> Self esteem booster. Um, back there, I'm going to The main roads are so many water Yeah, exactly. It was the, it was the, uh, the water source. Trash bag right now, <laughs> caramelized onions. <laughs> It's yeah. gonna go right on some yeah. 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 yeah, I think you yeah. Where are these from? This is from my elk that I shot this fall. I got a buck, I got a so. buck over here. From six to three, yep. you're laying by the truck. <laughs> so Jim and I are out. And it's like not exactly easy with the. Is it working with They said, oh, we don't want to go this time. So half a mile later, they find us. And then he started, like, we're cruising around. Look at that. Oh man, I can't wait. Oh, there's so much. Never mind. There's so much. Sorry. Mm. There's so much. Mm. That's some good hey, stuff. I forget. We were. Sorry. Our buddy Paul that's coming tomorrow. Well, I'm not really, but. Thank you so much. I sure appreciate it. Yeah. So, Randy, the ultimate's going to be when you're